Hi, I'm Jennifer Boxavanis, and I'm a sales coach based in Dubai. And today is the world's mental health day. So I started to think a little bit about mental health. And what came to mind was salespeople. I'm a salesperson, I work with salespeople, I'm surrounded by them. Our life is not that easy. We're either chasing numbers or really sad that we didn't get them. Our work is never nine to five and we don't get paid any overtime. We're either getting pressure from the management or pressure from our clients. And we are always on the go, trying to reach targets with adrenaline and cortisone just pumping through our body all the time, which causes a lot of anxiety and even depression. Today I decided to look up some statistics, and I saw that the WHO has published that one trillion US dollars I mean, one trillion US dollars is lost annually in loss of productivity because of mental health issues. This is massive. So salespeople don't really have it easy. If we don't treat our little anxieties or little depressions or burnouts, they can actually move into more chronic problems. Problems like clinical depression, obsessive compulsive disorders, panic attacks, and definitely anxiety disorders. So when you're working with a salesperson that has any sort of tinge of these things or, on as a road, or is on a road to a burnout, you'll definitely see them as with high blood pressure, probably fatigued, maybe even anxious, but more importantly, not really agreeable to be around, usually pretty irritable. So not only are they unhappy, they make their team unhappy. So of course, each person is responsible for themselves. But as head of sales, what can you do to help actually motivate them and pick up morale so we don't have to go towards those unsavory symptoms that can lead to mental health issues? I just wanna share some ideas with you. The first one is about your mindset. What is more important for you? Is it your targets and the tasks or is it the people that you work with? Now, if your answer is target or tasks, I'm definitely gonna have to make a different video for you. But if it's your people, what you wanna think about is your leadership and management skills. Are you treating your employees as though they're names on payrolls? Or are you treating them as people who sometimes need some extra support? The second thing is communication. I can imagine that you're communicating a lot with your sales team about the responsibilities and how to achieve them. But once in a while, a word of encouragement or motivation can go really, really far. Make sure that you mix some honey with that stick. The third thing is about creating a really fun workplace. I find that the companies that I work with that are more successful in keeping motivation and morale up in their, in their companies are doing things like having challenges, giving out rewards, doing team building activities, and definitely taking out their sales team for lunch at least once a quarter. And the last thing is, is proactivity. If you see one of your sales team's members is not doing so well, has some anxiety or some depression, be the first one to reach out and find out what's going on. When creating a happy workplace, you're not only helping the health, the mental health of your sales team members, but you're also helping the financial health of your organization. This is Jennifer, and if you wanna speak more about how you can help your sales team with a little bit more motivation and morale, write me a message below. Stay strong and happy selling.